your mind goes into a frenzy frenzy of expressing itself and in that particular frenzy everything seems like it's going blank the mind is going blank hey everyone how are you well hope everything is going great and are you excited for today you know today i have this query that i was getting from all of you a lot even in my live sessions uh, a lot of you were requesting that ma'am please tell us something for this problem the problem of mind going blank when you try to speak in english and i think this is a very common problem that most of the english learner and speakers they face it so your mind goes blank it's like you're not able to think anymore you don't know what to say and everything is jumbled up and this is faced a lot it's not like you don't want to speak in english you want to speak in english even you're trying but still you feel like that uh, everything that has been just frozen the thought process is frozen and the mind is like blank you're not able to retrieve what was your last thought what were you saying where were you exactly and at that time you feel really nervous and then it's a huge problem when you're speaking in english and it becomes a barrier to your conversation and in your presentation whatever is the task it is hindered so how to overcome this problem and why you are facing this problem knowing both the things it's important and today i am going to address this problem in details so first of all let me talk about four reasons i think there are four major reasons why you feel this kind of problem that your mind is going blank now the scenario is like that you are speaking in english you must have prepared everything it's there in your mind you are very confident that yeah i'm going to speak this you know you know what you want to say you know exactly what you want to say but as soon as you start speaking your mind goes blank it's like you're not able to think anymore and it's like where did the words go where did they go they were right here in the mind and you feel like oh my god what was i actually saying what's happening to me what should i say next it's all jumbled up here the thought process it's all jumbled up and then you feel like the mind is going blank i'm not getting enough words and you feel like oh i know i know how to describe this thing i know how to talk about this thing but you feel like you're not able to retrieve that particular information from your mind it's like a canvas blank canvas and i totally understand that it happens and the four reasons that i'm going to give you i am going to talk to you about this problem in details and you will be able to understand about this problem why you are facing it and then we'll also talk about the solutions for it i have solutions for it too knowing the root cause of the problem is very important so let's first begin with the four problems that i see the four problems of this particular issue so these four reasons they are your problem areas and it's very important to address the problem areas if you want to speak fluent english until and unless you want to address the problem areas you will not be able to improve your fluency so the reason number 1 why you feel that your mind is going blank it's because you're not habitual of speaking in english that's right that's true you are not habitual of speaking in english when you have this habit of speaking in english things become easier now when you are talking in your mother tongue do you feel some kind of exaggeration like some kind of pressure that yeah i have to speak this i have to do some kind of effort i am putting in a lot of effort do you feel like that no you don't it comes naturally to you why because you speak a lot in that particular language that means you are habitual of speaking that language when it comes to english how much time in a day do you give in order to speak english how much are you using the english language when you speak are you speaking english enough I think most of us are going to answer just 10%. And that 10% people who speak 10% of English in a day, even that number is very less. That's less. Now, this is the problem that we don't give enough time 
to speaking english we are not speaking this language enough the quantity in which we speak it it's very less and most of the time we are speaking in our mother tongue how will you become fluent in a language which you're not even speaking enough in the whole day so throughout the day what we are doing is we speak in our mother tongue so if you are speaking 90 to 95% of the times in your mother tongue how are you going to become habitual of speaking english and when you have less habit of speaking english when you're not habitual that means when this does not come to you naturally you will feel like your mind is going blank whenever you're speaking okay now the reason number 2 that i can think of is that you are not confident enough to speak english and this is common because again you're not habitual of speaking in english this is not your first language that's why you are not comfortable and hence you feel like nervous when you are speaking it you feel so nervous and it is common i have seen this most of the time this is the root cause the lack of confidence the nervousness even people who have good command over english language over written language they face difficulties in speaking it because lack of confidence so you need to develop your confidence while speaking in english it is important to have that confidence when you're not feeling confident when you're nervous and those nerves they kick in what happens is it seems like everything is blank like you can't speak anything like you are just frozen frozen there even if you have prepared something in your mind even if you were confident before you started speaking you knew what you wanted to say still you will feel like i am not getting enough words in my mind and the mind is blank you feel you will feel this way so now reason number 3 is something that you really need to consider because this is one of the biggest root cause of your mind going blank that is the lack of proper words and vocabulary if you lack in your vocabulary definitely your mind will go blank why because you don't know how to describe something how to say something what to do so you know what you want to say but because you don't have enough vocabulary you feel like how to say it what do i say now and then hence you feel like your mind is going blank because you want to retrieve that particular word what happens is your mind it automatically starts working so the mind will make efforts to retrieve that particular vocabulary particular information that you want in order to express yourself but you don't have the vocabulary and hence you'll feel like the mind is going blank because there is no vocabulary how is your mind going to find that particular information that it is trying to retrieve because there is nothing to retrieve this creates a huge problem and what happens is when you're not able to retrieve some kind of particular vocabulary for particular things what happens is you start feeling nervous you start panicking and when you start panicking everything seems like i don't know what's happening you go into that particular mode that i don't know what's happening and this particular mode is switched on and then you you feel like don't know what's happening what i need to say what is the situation what's happening the mind it goes blank the last reason the reason number 4 why you feel like your mind is going blank is because you're not able to express yourself properly now listen very carefully that you're not able to express yourself properly what do i exactly mean by this see you know what you're feeling you know what you want to say inside you have this gut feeling you have everything but when you're saying you're not able to convey your message properly you're not able to convey your feeling to the other person and this creates a frustration and when that happens what you want to do is automatically you want to make yourself clear and you exaggerate it it's like you are trying to exaggerate your words you are trying to find correct words correct sentences everything in order to express yourself and you're not able to do it and when this happens you feel like your mind is going blank because you start 
panicking and what happens is that you're not able to think about anything there is a frustration because you know what you want to say you know how you're feeling but still to be not able to express that particular thing it becomes a hindrance in the conversation your mind goes into a frenzy frenzy of expressing itself and in that particular frenzy everything seems like it's going blank the mind is going blank so these were the four common problems that i discussed with you today and you know these four problems they are the major cause the root cause of this bigger picture this major problem that is the mind going blank which is faced by almost everybody in their journey to learn english to speak english this thing is faced by i think 99% people out there they face this problem it's very common and if you're facing it you don't have to worry the thing is that we have to find the problem and find a solution for that and start applying it start applying the solution and then wait for the results because it will take time and you need to work in the right direction that's what you need to do and working in right direction means we need to have solution for all these problems that i listed i am going to discuss the solutions in detail and there are total five solutions that i'm going to give you and they are the best solution i think after those five solutions you won't have to look anywhere you will be able to overcome your problem with the five solutions i think five solutions they are too good and uh, it's just not random five solutions they are divided in two part process so it's going to be really unique you should look out for that video you must watch that video if you want to overcome this problem that your mind is going blank so i'm going to bring that solution video next time so next video is going to be your solution video do check out the five solutions that can completely change your fluency game so that's it for today whatever i told you in this video please think about it and try to recognize which problem is it that you are facing you might be facing all the four problems or you might be facing any two or any one you need to recognize what's the strongest issue that you are facing and then try to apply all the five solutions that i'm going to tell you in the next video and see the magic happening do like the video share it and subscribe my channel because you're going to have awesome solutions in the next video so see you in the next video take care and bye